Hi everybody, hope you're all having a great day. It's been a while since I did a sketching tear series sketches, so I thought I'd give it a go. I've kept it really simple with this one, so let's get into it. Lately I've been doing a lot of work with layers and uh, multiply layers and just using loads of different blend modes and experimenting and trying thick paint brushes and stuff. So I thought, you know what, it'd be really nice just to get back to basics and do a simple little sketch. So it's got to be Teosui sketches, hasn't it? Opened up Teosui and I thought I'd do this real little simple beach scene. I've kind of zoomed in quite a lot. I think on reflection, I would have been happier if I'd have moved the little ups a little more to the right and a little bit smaller. But as it is, um, it's... It's okay I'm very happy with it I just begin with a really simple pencil sketch and it makes you think a little bit about perspective and um, making sure all the buildings are in proportion against one another so but not too taxing so this is a great one for somebody that's probably just starting out and wants to do something nice and simple so you can just look for it I mean I've drawn my garden shed before it can be anything you like really but I chose to do this uh, beach scene so I kind of sketched in the buildings and then I started putting in the slats or the wooden planks on the huts put a, a little bit of uh, line work on the roofs as well I use the eraser a lot I kind of like when I did the fence I sort of drew the fence posts in then you can see I'm putting this grass in and once I've finished the grass I just take the eraser and rub out all the bottoms of the fences and then that just sort of really makes look like those fences are just coming straight out of the grass so that's my sort of sketch almost finished I've just got to get that bird in there really well I'm doing the roof uh, shingles I suppose you call them or roof tiles first there I've got that little bit of a bird in nothing too fancy just a, a, a quick idea of where we're going and then I'm into the watercolor brushes so I thought I'd uh, go in with really bold colors and you can see I'm doing one of my favorite techniques here I'm just putting the wash over the sky but just letting it go over them buildings as well and I just use the eraser to lift that out and um, do the same with the fences lift out the bird as well so it's all, all dead simple and you know if you're doing a real watercolor I've said this a million times you can do exactly the same thing with a bit of tissue you just press it into the color and it will lift it off unless you're using a staining pigment of course but that's a story for another day so I sort of messing around with the color of the the grass and I wasn't too happy with how this was going I, I used the blending stump to try and uh, smudge it out a bit and in the end I just undid it I thought you know what let's go for this again and I'd two or three goes before I got to what I wanted and that was the effect just one nice clean wash no blending stumps or anything and if you press on hard with the paintbrush or your stylus I should say you get nice thick color and then as you release the pressure you get that uh, look as though it's uh, gone to clean water or you you've brushed some clean water into it again there I've put that sort of dark cut in use the eraser so all of these as you can imagine all the colors for the huts are on a different layer the grass is on a different layer the sky is on a different layer everything's uh, going on a different layer here because that way you can erase it away to your art's content and not damage what you've already done lifting out a little bit of detail on the huts and you can see the layers uh, are going in there the same with the roof slot and quite you know sometimes it's nice just to leave a little bit of a white rim around so, so the top where you can imagine the uh, the sun just making a little highlight on the, the top of the roof it doesn't all have to be really really neat uh, for this it's it's not like a cartoon where you have to um, or you know sort of um, computer graphics or something like that where you've got to stay within the boundaries with this type of art you, you can go, you can let your paint go over uh, the edge it doesn't matter so then I put in the shadows on the fence posts. I just you can see they're all to the, the left side of the post, just on the uh, horizontal strips. And then I put a few more posts in shadow that are the other side of the. Uh, so they're actually the posts that are rolled in the 
fence up, not the slats, if you know what I mean. Then I start going in, putting in the shadows on the um, existing uh, colour that I've got on each of the huts. And I try and use the same colour and then just overlay it. But it didn't quite work with the green, so I actually went with a, a dark colour and a little bit more blue. So you can see I haven't really stuck with the colours of the uh, photograph at all. So this is kind of a an exercise in tone, I suppose, really. So it's good to do these things. You know, you don't have to do everything, uh, that create that masterpiece every single time. I've said it before. It's nice just to do something really simple, but still looks effective at the end of the day. So I'm just sort of... Uh, selecting a color i think that's the first time i've actually used teosui sketches where i've selected a color other than the ones that are in the palette I selected it off the color wheel and then added it to the palette uh, remembering to lift the color out off the fence posts all the time as, I, as i'm going along so uh, painted the bird in and then i realized i'd missed a, a post off the, the side of one of those huts at the front. So I thought I'd just pop that in. A few more shadows on the under eaves, just to make that pop a little bit. Just darkening them up. So I'm sort of going over them again. Really, if I'd have got it right, I wouldn't have had to do that twice. I'd have put a dark colour on, and it would have been fine at the first attempt. So th that's pretty much it, I think. We're just finishing off that under eaves there. Yeah, I'm going to be signing this any second. There we go, get it signed. And that is it. That is my dead simple sketch in Teosui sketches of some beach huts. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have loads of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.